Praise be Jesus Christ, and thank you for joining me for Lexio on oh. the go. Obviously, I am not driving. We are at a rest stop coming back from a family pilgrimage, and our, our readings are from Ezekiel 34, 11 through 16, and Matthew 25, uh, verses 31 through 46. Um, Ezekiel talks about the Good Shepherd, and it's really worth reading these two readings together as we talk about Jesus Christ, who is our Good Shepherd. Ezekiel 34 and Matthew 25. Again, read these two together. Um, Ezekiel talks about all the different things that a Good Shepherd is, and we have to remember that a shepherd feeds, obviously takes their flock to green pastures, so the shepherd is responsible for finding a good location for food and then feeding uh, the sheep, protecting the sheep, uh, healing the sheep. We never, you know, usually don't think about that, but but binding up the sheep, uh, you know, if there's a wound or something, binding up that that wound, and then judging. Uh, something I didn't really think about, but the the shepherd has to make judgments on, um, you know, maybe you know separating the sheep out, which is what we see in Matthew's Gospel 25, where he she uh, separates out the sheep from the goats. So um, a few things that stood out to me in Ezekiel: strengthen that which was weak that uh, the shepherd will strengthen that which was weak and that uh, that which was fat and strong I will preserve. Um, so Jesus Christ, our good shepherd, is going to, of the sheep, is going to strengthen those that are weak. And this is done really through confession. This is where he binds us up. He, he binds those wounds and heals us. And those that are weak and willing to say that they're weak, sinners, then he will strengthen us. Those that are fat and strong, um, I will preserve. And this word preserve really stood out because there's a prayer in the extraordinary form of the Mass. Um, it's actually the prayer that is prayed right before um, receiving communion. Uh, the priest prays this prayer. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve thy soul unto life everlasting. So, you know, again, the Good Shepherd, Jesus Christ, feeds us with his own flesh. And that which was fat and strong, I will preserve. Um, Lord, may we be fat and strong spiritually. And may you preserve our soul through the Eucharist, which is your very body and blood. Um, so not only does our Lord feed us, but he also will judge us, um, because that is one of the things that the shepherd does. He judges us. Um, so we think, uh, you know, when we look at the judgment, what will we be judged upon? Uh, we immediately go to Matthew 25, because here are the, the um, basically the criteria of what we will be judged on. Uh, Mother Teresa talks about these things being the uh, gospel of the hand, and so she stresses five things. You did it to me. Again, you did it to me. Um, and these are feeding the hungry, the hungry you will feed, the thirsty give drink, the stranger you took me in, when I was naked you covered me, when I was sick you visited me, and when I was in prison you came to visit me. Again, when I was hungry you fed me, thirsty you gave me drink. Stranger, you took me in. Naked, you covered me. Sick, you visited me. And in prison, you came to me. And I, I at first, when I read this, you know, and just as I'm prayerfully, you know, trying to meditate on this uh, throughout the day, I realized that, you know, do I do these things, these corporal works of mercy? And on one level, no, I don't. To the larger community, no, I don't do those things. Uh, our family pilgrimage was in Houston, and we saw tent cities of homeless people. Um, and I do, don't go and give those people shelter or food or drink or comfort or visit them. And on one level, I do those things. I do those things every day in my family. Um, you know, of course, I'm giving shelter to my kids. I'm giving food to my kids and drink to my f kids. When they're sick, I, I comfort them. And so I, I think um, we are called according to our, our duties in life, of course. I, I think the main thing is, and my wife made this our prayer on our pilgrimages, you know, when we're able to help all of those people in that area, then we must. Um, I think we do this the best we can according to our state in life and when, of course, our Lord prevents, presents the opportunities. So we always have to, to be aware of when we can help people. The corporal works of mercy, the spiritual works of mercy, and look for the inspiration of the Holy Spirit and always, always, always do those according to our duties in life and, and when the Holy Spirit inspires us. Um, so thank you for joining me for me and Edith uh, for Lexio on the go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.